How about the uh, news that came out on Friday that the Houston Texans settled claims uh, or intended claims with 30 of Deshaun Watson's accusers, um, and they wanted to make it clear. They pointed out this was not an admission of wrongdoing, but, quote, a clear stand against any form of sexual assault or misconduct. Uh, so there it is, the yes. Houston Texans. Uh, well, uh, I, 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 oh, I also, I'm sorry. What happened? I sneezed. I, I, that was a cough. I also think they just wanted to they're, – they're over the Deshaun Watson. Era. Can we just move on? Like, let's let's just get this handled. Let's get this sorted out. You know, and you guys can. Hey, deal can, with I, it. can I can I settle? I want to get the hell out of this topic. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, my God. <laughs> I, I mean, let's be clear here. Like, that cannot be what this is. It it, it absolutely and, and I like it, and I heard this take because I was on the show with Plex and TJ on Saturday, and and Plex was saying that like it doesn't mean they're guilty. Doesn't they just don't want to go have this drag out and be in the papers and all this and what they said. And my whole thing was at first I'm like no way because if that's the case then you're basically telling anyone and everybody who had any type of contact with this dude that they can come get money from the Texans. You're yeah. not setting yeah. that type of precedence. That's first and foremost. Yeah. But then I started thinking to myself, as I, as I took a little bit of time to step back, right, at what number do you get to where you can actually say you did not know? Like, like let's look at it this way. When this took place, you got to believe that they had their internal, their, their in-house counsel looking at this because they probably knew they had some involvement in it. So they're looking at this situation. They weren't new to this situation. So to send out a a, a statement so so vanilla and and so generic, I thought was very, very it was a bad move. And for the simple fact that at what number somebody in that organization was doing something that was connected to those 30 people and connected to Deshaun Watson. So at what number? Because if you're telling me you knew absolutely nothing, I'm sorry, but I can almost guarantee, I can almost bet my 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 savings, which is quite, quite significant. I bet my savings, all right, that there is no one in the history of the National Football League that had an organization assisting them with over 20, 10, 30, 30 people? 30? Yeah. At what 60? point? 60? <laughs> at, at what point in time? Do you really say to to yourselves in in that place in that building? You know somebody needs to talk to Deshaun. Like, what do you mean? Well, he's got us doing this, whatever it is that they said they what he would they were booking him hotel rooms for it or whatever, uh, whatever it was they non, had him non disclosure agreements as well too. What whatever it was that he was they were involved with with him with this to settle with thirty people. Do you understand? Deshaun has only settled with what twenty. Yeah. And there's four still out there? Yeah. So so basically basically the 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 Houston Texas settle is has settled with already ten more people than what Deshaun Watson has settled with. And you're saying, Oh, we deny any knowledge of anything that took place or this, that, and other. We just support the fact that any wrongdoing to a to a woman, is that what they said? Yeah. What, uh, we we stand against um, you know sexual you know misconduct. Okay, and- so you stand against sexual misconduct, and so you're paying out these settlements. Do do we not find something weird as hell about that statement as it re- uh, uh, applies to this scenario to thirty people? Come on, man, that's crazy. You're crazy if you. That's crazy, <laughs> man. I'm with you as far as just, you know, saying that, okay, we settled these, but it's really just because we want to move on. We're not admitting guilt. And and more for me has to do with the timing of it is you don't have any decision whatsoever made by the NFL at this point. Yep. You still have four outstanding lawsuits that Deshaun Watson hasn't even settled with. And so maybe that makes an argument one way or another that they're just like, you know, we don't care. We just want to settle. We we want to get past this. (laughs) Uh, But to your point, now you're just really opening up yourself to admitting guilt to some degree of participating in, in, in all of this. I mean, whether they want it to be admitted that or not, that's the truth. 
And, and so as you look through like different organizations and how they go about, at least in my experience, where if you needed a massage, you needed body work, there's some teams that have, you know, people in-house, but they will not have female massage therapists. So they'll have male and they'll have them there at the facility, eyes on it, all that. You know, I was with the Jets. I remember they, they had people, but in one case, like it was doors always open. Like you're, they're always going to be able to have eyes on you. It was almost like the Stanley Cup. Like there's always going to be people watching wherever, go, wherever you go with the massage therapist in that facility, there's going to be eyes on you. There was others where they would schedule them and you could do it at the facility, but you could do it somewhere else. And then there was other organizations that were like, no, 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 no. Here's some contacts, like a list of contacts. We don't want anything to do with this because I think they foresaw these sorts of issues with all of that and what could potentially happen, which to be quite honest, I, I look, I don't think it's on the employer in this case to then set up body work, massages, things like that. Like you, that, that's on you as a player. Like that, that's on you to figure that out. But you, you also need to make sure you're doing it the right way and not doing what Deshaun Watson did clearly, or he wouldn't be in this mess. So there's no doubt in my mind that the Texans realized that they were, they were sec- playing second fiddle to Deshaun Watson. Mm. And they needed to get past this at some point. They're going to have to settle. So why not just do this whole lump sum group settlement and move on with it, which is what they've done. But that doesn't mean they're not guilty. Let me ask you guys this. The timing of these settlements, do you think that somebody in that facility is sitting there like, we are going to stick it to his ass? And I mean stick it to him, put the bolts to him. Because even though we're going, they're going to have to deal with this the way they were going to have to deal with it one way or the other, no matter what the time frame of it was. To do it right now, after the in arguments and discussions of the arbitration for Deshaun Watson that's taking place, this comes out. You got to believe that if she was going to render a decision – and now she's heard this, and this has come out. If she was about to say four to six, six to eight, eight to ten, this has to change what she was going to say. The arbitrator. It has, no matter if you say, okay, it was not a part of the arbitration. It should not have any type of bearing on on her ruling. Okay, I get all the, the technicalities of it. She had to have seen this report. She has to be aware of this report. And to see that 30 people settled with the Houston Texans that are in connection with this situation has to put more pressure on her on her decision. Well, Tony Busby made a statement on Friday after it came out and pointed out the difference between the way the Texans have handled this and the way Deshaun Watson had handled this. So I don't know that they would sabotage their own PR by settling 30 lawsuits just to make him look bad. But it is they were going to have to do it. It, it is. It is. It is kind of kind of interesting. They were going to have see, to do it. Yeah. Like oh, why? Why would you do it right now? Yeah, like the decision has not been rendered, has not come down yet. And you know what? Somebody might be sitting there like they're going to let this MF play. Right. He's going to play because right. look, yeah. there's 24. So now the question becomes: Okay, so there's six more that could potentially come up. Like that's that's also part of this. Like we don't know when that's going to spark. Well, so ten, ten more, right? That that you could you could. Presumably, think yes. that like six more. Well, do we know? Could be do brought. we know who? Do are we? Has anyone matched the people who have settled with the people? Like like the people who settled with Deshaun Watson? Have we matched it, that those? That could be with, a new game show it, at this point. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, Lavar could be the host. Yes. Come on, man. You know, Jonas and I could be somewhere around like the Vanna Whites, I guess, yeah. hanging out. Like, and then and Lavar's hosting. He's like, all right, guys, let's connect the dots here. Clue. Who settled and who hasn't? Right. Like, are these all the same people? Are these all the same people? And now you got to think the four that didn't settle, they're about to get a larger, a much larger settlement because people have to keep in mind, this is not a criminal case. This is, this is civil. The criminal aspect of this still could surface. It still could come back on Deshaun Watson. It still could happen. He's got to he's got to close this out. This story is just so bizarre. It's man. wild, man. <laughs> this, this 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 it's, is made for TV. It's crazy. This is a Netflix series for real. Oh man. Like you remember when it was just 10? Like was, uh, you know, he's got these 10. It's like, man, there must really be a problem here. You ever watch Forensic Files? I would I hate to say this guilty. I would want to watch the Forensic Files breakdown. Ew. 
I, I would. Right. I like forensic fouls. I love watching forensic fouls. Can you imagine what that show would? It would be a series. It would have to be a series because it's so many people. It's so many people. Yeah. It would have to be a series. Yeah, I don't. Uh, if you read some of the, uh, you know, statements from the accusers, uh, I'm have good, you ever I'm, watched I'm, forensic fouls? Yeah, I'm good on it's, seeing it's that. It's way more gory you know, than than this. I'll I'm, say that. I'm good on seeing the video and footage of that. I'm good. I, I'm, I'm just I, saying. I don't need to see some guy doing yoga poses with no clothes on. I mean, what yeah. people are trying to do is put the pieces together, as Q just mentioned. It's like <laughs> connect the dots. You're, we're trying to connect the dots here. I would love to see like the breakdown from like scientific evidence and this, that, and the other, and they use the the what's that the 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 thing like, that we, lights we focus, thing, like the, the goggles on with the, the white the black lights. The lab. And, yes, like we're all looking at like, yeah. the, the, the liquids and the different colors. <laughs> yes, like, yeah. The hell yeah! Tubes. Like yeah. oh, it, 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 it just the lights features. up in the dark we, when we've you got put a, the black we've got light a Bunsen, on. We have a Bunsen, Bunsen burner burners. On. We have yes. no idea why. It's like yeah. heating we up got some Meeker, sort of fluid. We, we got Meeker in the back coming now and and, and all those people that? from Sesame, Sesame Street. Street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's Jonas. He keeps looking, measuring the fluids, measuring the fluids. Yeah. Oh, Q, yeah. I think I found something. <laughs> <laughs> well hydrated. Uh, two pros and a cup of this Joe Fox Sports This seems radio. to have a tad bit of rigor mortis. Um, all right. So coming up next here. <laughs> Uh, we are going to get uh, we into. We should be laughing. I'm not making a joke about that. I'm just, you know. Yeah. All right. Well, just you know, so we're clear on that. Because uh, I do not condone the conduct, nor do I have any involvement with anything that has taken place, by yeah, the way. Yeah, you're going to have to settle next. Yeah. 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 By the way. <laughs>